As a community, we face a serious problem. No matter who you are, its effect is plaguing us all. Taking it at face value is how we start. Facing it head on is how we end it. Fentanyl affects us all. Fentanyl hurts us all. Fentanyl takes it all. Facing Fentanyl Together, brought to you by Livingston Parish Students Against Destructive Decisions. SAD is a nonprofit organization, Students Against Destructive Decisions, and our whole mission is to educate young people on the dangers of alcohol, tobacco, drugs, anything that affects their health, their safety, their well-being, and to raise awareness to stand against those things. We are here to educate kids, most of all, and talk to kids about different aspects of prevention and living a drug-free life and an alcohol-free life. So we're here to teach kids young so that whenever they get to the age of making these destructive decisions they will be educated. This this is our eighth year doing it. We're two years cut because of COVID. It's fully funded by Florida Parish's Human Services Authority so that no kid had to pay to come to camp. That's a super important part because without that grant funding we wouldn't be able to do that. Camp is full. Yeah we have uh, we have 200 kids here at camp we educate them on all the things, all the dangers that are out there, because if we don't, someone else will, and we don't want it to be the wrong information. So we wanna make sure that they get the right information. It's all research-based. All the lessons that we teach in the classrooms are research-based. They're proven to be effective. We follow very strict curriculums. We train our high school leaders. Uh, this year, we actually took them on a retreat for three days and trained them. And so it's, it's very much um, an organized way and a fun way to teach them lessons about their health and safety. It all started in February. We went to Washington, D.C. for a conference. The head person of the DEA was there. She talked a lot about fentanyl because that's their main push right now. That's their main objective is fighting fentanyl. Fentanyl is the strongest, most potent drug out there. And the biggest issue is that people are misusing it, right? So it's not being used in the pharmaceutical way that it was intended. It was intended for the most severe pain. So cancer patients that experience pain. That's what fentanyl, prescription fentanyl was intended for because it's an opioid. But the problem is that there's cartels that are not in our country that are infiltrating it into our country and they're selling it on the illegal drug market. And so people are, you know, taking a pill that they think has something else and it's actually, you know, deadly. So one pill can kill. See how fast that reaction was? Yes. That's how fast fentanyl can work. It's killing more people than most drugs right now. But most importantly, people don't know about it. And so it's like this, kind of like this ninja drug that's going around and killing people and people don't even know. If someone overdoses on fentanyl, they don't know because it's in every drug. It's in every vape, it's in marijuana, it's in all these drugs that they're finding. Back in the day, people used to say, you know, just say no. Well, saying no is hard. I mean, that's hard for a kid. And so what we do is we teach them actual strategies that you can actually do to say no. Things like, you know, walk away, right? If someone's encouraging you to do something, walk away from the situation. Offer up a better idea. Instead of doing this, let's do this instead. You know, we offer up things like, uh, we teach them skills like, you know, state the facts. Like, let people know the facts that you've learned at camp this week. Like, we learned that our, the brain is the boss of our body, so we should do everything we can to protect our brain from things like drugs and alcohol. So educate your friends on the fact that your, your brain's not fully developed until you're in your mid-20s. And then, once your friends understand that, look, you're doing these things that are very detrimental to your health and could essentially cause not only harm but in some cases death you know you really want to be careful and you really want to be safe and so a big part of what we do is spreading the message to let other people know that it's a, it's dangerous in my experience I go to Walker High School or just graduated and every single day I see a kid with some sort of vape or some sort of paraphernalia that they're doing some kind of drug and recently this year there was a girl who overdosed she didn't die thankfully but she overdosed in the bathroom on a vape and she didn't know what was in it 
and that's the reason I think it was actually a dab pen but she went in the bathroom hitting the same thing she hits every day expecting the same high and ended up passing out on the floor and so to me I'm thinking would it have been different if she would have known about that if she would have been warned about hey there is drugs that are killing people and they don't know it and so because of that I see kids every single day no matter what their lifestyles are there's kids with hard lives there's kids that are the quote-unquote good kids or the popular kids and they're all doing the same thing and so I want to teach kids before they get to that level before they get to that age so that they don't end up on the bathroom floor like she did. In Livingston Parish specifically, we're working very closely with the school board to really try to figure out what we can do to address the vaping issue next school year. Um, you know, they have very strict policies to keep kids, you know, um, from being put back into regular education classes. So, like, they go to an alternative program when they get, you know, expelled for vaping. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's a severe, very significant problem in Livingston Parish. And so, we've taken it upon ourselves to, as a prevention organization, to teach everyone, not just children, about this drug because ultimately that's the only way that lives are going to be saved is by telling people about it because they don't know. It's a passion of mine. I've been doing this for 10 years. This is year 10 for me. Um, but for me personally, um, it's really about the high school kids, watching them, watching them change, them grow and develop into, into leaders and then seeing them come back, you know, the success of that is is a, a very remarkable thing. I call it magic. It's kind of like the magic of what we do is really the development that takes place in them. And even though this camp is for the 200 kids that are here, there's 50 volunteers that are here leading this camp. And so the significant part in that is that what it's doing for them. They're developing this servant mentality of, of serving others. And they're, they've given up their summer to do this. I mean, you know, they've been working on this for a month now. And so they've given up their summer to to help kids, to educate kids on the fact that there are these very dangerous things out there. And the thing about the fentanyl specifically is we want to make sure that kids don't take medicine that, that's not prescribed to them. So the message is that you don't take medication that's not prescribed to you, that doesn't have your name on the bottle. You never take medicine that a parent or guardian did not give you. And so if we really start hitting home with those messages early in life, they're less likely to engage in those decisions and later in life, risky.